single day of my life. It's the first time in eight years. I yeah, had this had is this is actually a really interesting topic because I've been enjoying the quarantine and I've been almost feeling a little bit guilty about it because we're really fortunate and great and and I'm grateful that I have. You know, I'm not gonna get kicked out of the house or whatever. But like, I also think that like there's gonna be like the government. We're going to have to figure out a way to level it out and make it okay for people that aren't financially. Like, Oleg's not going to be able to pay rent, but, like, we're going to be, like, whatever. It's all good. But Jason was just saying how he kind of he's kind of loving it. And I haven't heard anyone else really, like, say that, I feel like. I'm saying it because, obviously, I've had I've actually had two handful of friends who have had the virus, and a couple of them got really sick from it. Really? But they're all, they're all okay. But it's just I've lived my entire life for the past eight years by calendar like this, right. thing, this thing so like so it's, uh, I'm literally just going yeah, just, just creating for, like oh, the like, calendar has been cleared right um, we're probably gonna start doing some like sessions through zoom and facebook are like you that. feeling it feeling what this quarantine I mean I like it right except you know I want people to be able to come over but no I mean look financial shit aside I think if you're okay with like just being and not yeah, being distracted I constantly. I think, and I did a video about that. Like, I don't understand why, like, I'm not hearing people complaining about the money thing. I'm hearing them complaining that they're bored and they're going crazy. And I'm like, well, wow, what a great, the like. I do like working out at, in a workout place yeah. with other people. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's, I just, right before I haven't started doing hot yoga again. It's like hard to push yourself. The first what? couple days. I haven't worked out in eight years anyways. Right. <laughs> I'm it's, gonna start doing the thing with my friend though. Anyone who wants to do it, it's like fifty bucks for like two weeks of doing like a yoga thing online. Some- Core powers putting close classes. We're gonna do one tonight. Uh, yeah, that's the thing is if you watch YouTube, like Core powers doing a guided uh, workouts. On- we haven't done that yet, but I think that would help a lot. And the Zoom thing, like. I did a meeting. I've done like What's four meetings with like 60 to 100 people. You can see all the people in the meeting and they're at their house and there's a speaker and it's like insane. It's like really cool. I feel like we're being forced to take advantage of technology like even more when it comes to like communicating and being uh, like in touch with our community, which is the whole human race, really. I mean, the fact that the entire world, yeah. you can feel connected with like... Everyone around yeah. the world is really—it's so special. cool. It's good for the planet. That's it's really good for the planet. Planet's definitely chilling right now. Yeah, I—that's I, I, all—that's the thing I keep tripping on, and I, I'm noticing Russell Brand. Did you see anything I posted about him? I, 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 I follow him. So. Dude, I love like he puts it into better words than I do, but like I just think whenever there's pain, there's growth, and I, Mother Nature is like finding a way. I know. Like Jeff Goldblum said in Jurassic Park, remember? Oh, yeah, what was the line? Well, they're talking about they're talking about how all the dinosaurs are are female, and he's like, nature mom, finds but... a way. Like, yeah. they're gonna breed. Like, nature will find a way to fix this problem that we're creating. And it's like I never thought it would look like this. I thought it would look like technology. Yeah. No, in Jurassic Park, when when they're when he's the guy, oh. they bring certain people to like, and he's the chaos yeah, they, guy. No, you're right. We just watched it actually. It's a, it's a, yeah, bro, it's so <laughs> good. Oh, we watch that, yeah. Yeah. she's right because all the dinosaurs are female in the movie. In the movie, but then they laid <laughs> eggs, so they found a way. That's what I'm saying. Is like, yeah, sure. did you see my chickens? Cra- no, light, I it's crazy how everything on Earth has like this insane <laughs> desire to live and survive. Mm. Like everything, it's like constant life. That's like the purpose of everything here is to live and survive, yeah. like to grow. Also getting a black bunny. Except for the virus, his purpose is to just kill. But also, maybe that's how it survives. My neighbor said, "If I wanted a black bunny." Yeah, and then so and then you think like so we're like organisms, and certain <laughs> organisms cute. like get wiped out a little bit to free? keep things. To keep things in, in balance and in order, I don't know. I might make a little. I'm doing a like five minute yeah. chat There's with Pat. Oh I've been putting these up on YouTube. It's, it's like, like whatever. Away. <laughs> I mean, they got like a hundred views, you know, two hundred views. But like, people are coming from TikTok now, like, like. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's so. <laughs> Oh, well, like our, our our roommate. I know it's funny. <laughs> Always watch. Yeah, me and Veronica have done two.
podcasts. We did one like right after a really bad fight. Like it was the, one of the worst fights we we've didn't ever talk had. To we got on the podcast. And we worked, we worked it through. We worked it out on the podcast <laughs> because I think married couples understanding that. And I played the audio because he filmed us fighting in the back seat, and it was like so gnarly. Just Tim. like it was like. It started because Tim showed up in the morning with Gus and he was like six feet and then he walks in and he was just like, it just made him wake up on the wrong side of the bed. And then he's like, ah, I like, he tells me like, what is it? You like are an annoyed with Tim and it sucks. Yeah. Well, I, I have like a resentment kind of like, with Tim and that's what happens to me when I work with people because I'm afraid to tell them how I really feel because I don't want to lose them. And it, 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 and that fear causes me to like hold stuff in, and then like I get resentful. They but I loved him. Taking it out. But I just certain things bother me that he does, and uh, it just. But that's not what the fight was over. The fight was over like just some dumb shit. Well, but it's always some dumb shit. I was, but like, it's a really something days bigger, in not you know. Weed, which I obviously. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can you see yourself in the camera? Oh, you can't see what. Never mind. I'm smoking a lot less though. But yeah, and then we did another podcast last night where I interviewed her, like if she was a guest. He's running out of guests. It was cool. No, it was like I think. And it's like a good way to communicate as a married couple. Like you don't talk like that. It's like Mr. Rogers with the puppets, but like doing an interview. No, I, I really think because you forget, you can get really comfortable and forget to ask each other questions. Totally. You can learn new things or remember something you didn't know about the person. Totally. And it's a, I think it's like a playful way to like spice up your we intimacy. Yeah, it yeah. was really cool. That's I think it was one of our, I think, I honestly think some of the best stuff we've done has been this in this past week because we're getting, it's really cool. The validation from TikTok. <laughs> well, because I think that podcast, I think. I don't know how to get on TikTok. All right, let's make Tim really jealous that's what I said. What do you mean you don't? Wait, what do you mean you don't know how to get on? Tim will be here in five seconds 